So in today's EKG's video, we're going to be talking about atrial fibrillation slash flutter, and we're going to talk about the complications and some of the treatments. In order to better understand the complications of AFib, we have to understand what AFib really is. So I like to think of the heart as a box. You have your right atrium, your right ventricle, your left atrium, and your left ventricle. Your SA node is the node that is the pacemaker of the heart and conducts the impulses throughout the heart that cause the atriums and ventricles to contract. In atrial fibrillation, your SA node is firing at a more rapid rate, which causes the P waves to look chaotic and fibrillatory. So basically, the atrium is quivering. So because the atrium is quivering, this does not allow for the atrium to really fill up with the blood and give a good oomph, a good pump, into the ventricles. So because the atrium is not being a good pump and pumping the blood out into the ventricles, blood tends to pool up in the atrium, and when it sits there, it starts to coagulate and form clots. So as you can imagine, clots in the heart is not a good thing because the clots can form embolus or emboli, and those clots can get launched up into the brain or other parts of the body. The number one risk or complication of a fib is stroke because those clots go right from the heart straight up to the brain and can get lodged in the brain and cause a stroke. So although there is not a really good treatment for a fib, the treatment to help prevent the complications of a fib would be blood thinners. So off the top of my head, one of the most common blood thinners that we use is Coumadin or Warfarin. Also, Xarelto has become another popular blood thinner. And Aspirin is also a blood thinner, but it is not commonly used in AFib unless a patient has a high bleeding risk and needs something more mild to thin their blood. Other treatments for AFib include medications for rate control, such as beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and basically any medication that lowers your heart rate, and most of these medications tend to lower your blood pressure too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out all of my other EKG videos.